pieces of that school bus remain here near the tracks laying in the snow. Now, thankfully, the only thing to feel the impact of that oncoming train was the school bus, all due to some quick actions taken by the person behind the wheel. It's a very scary situation for anyone. A close call in Orland Park. They could have been far worse. It had rescue crews scrambling to the scene. Initially, I didn't see a bus on the side that I was on, and our concern then is if the bus is on either end of the train. They found the front of the school bus mangled after a metro train crashed into it. That was definitely her primary focus was to make sure that the kids were safe. It happened shortly after 2.30 Friday afternoon on 167th Street, not too far from U.S. Route 6, and where the school bus had just picked up the kids from St. Michael School. Our students were coming home from school. Authorities say five kids were on board when the bus driver stopped at the tracks, just as she's required to do. But when she tried to go, the bus wouldn't move, stalling on the tracks seconds before an oncoming train going to Chicago was headed their way. Everybody kept a calm head and, and followed directions and followed the training that they have. And that training helping the driver to lead the students safely off the bus before the collision. She kept calm and she did a great, a great a great role in keeping those kids safe. No one was hurt. Parents were soon notified and we're told students even gave a farewell hug to the driver who helped to save their lives. It really was very nice to see them um, before they went home with their parents to kind of embrace and, and thank each other for, you know, the, the great outcome because of her actions. In Orland Park, I'm Trey Ward, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Absolutely.